Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm gonna share with you some of my monthly favorites for the month of October, but before I get into it, I just wanted to reach out and ask you guys one last time before I um, actually film the thing. Um, I work on a gift guide every year and um, yeah, the last few years have been quite a hit and I really enjoy making them. Um, but this year I wanted to do a bit more things that are not things that you can actually just buy. Maybe with the mindset of giving a gift to someone who doesn't want things, like physical things. So if you have any suggestions, please um, leave a comment and yeah, I'm gonna get started on that video in about a week or so. But today I'm here to share with you some of my monthly favorites for the month of October. And I'm gonna start off with um, some channels, some YouTube channels. So at the beginning of the pandemic, maybe a little bit before the pandemic, I was researching ways on how to shave sustainably because I was using the Billy razor and it's a classic razor, it works great and everything. However, I just was kind of bummed out about the cartridges. So I tried to look up different ways to have a more sustainable shape. And um, I looked on the internet, researched and everything, and tried to research aiming towards women because not a lot of women use safety razors because they look so freaky, right? Anyway, um, I found the fashionable father, Timothy Sands, and I watched his video on safety razors and shaving and it was so helpful and then I just found myself watching his other videos um, his vlogs with his family and um, his style vlogs and I don't know he's just got a very clear way of speaking so I've been a fan of his channel since and I've been watching all his videos and sometimes I'll just leave his channel on and not really even watch it just listen because um, it's kind of calming and he kind of reports almost like a podcast in a way so a lot of it is really good for like audible or <laughs> to listen to right um, so he actually interviewed me on his channel because he lives in LA and we decided to meet up and um, he interviewed me for his channel I interviewed him as well for my channel but the audio is a little bit tricky so we might have to re-interview but um, I'm gonna put his channel in the description box if you guys want to check him out and please subscribe and then also um, I'll leave a link to the interview that I did with him um, and it's like a woman's perspective on uh, men's fashion or men's wear. When it comes to other channels that I've been watching, oh man, so uh, a couple of years ago my friend Khan introduced me to this thing called silent vlogs, namely I think Japanese and Korean silent vlogs and I've just been watching those a lot because it's so calming it's kind of like ASMR um, lifestyle you know and uh, it's just really fun to watch but then um, I recently found this girl named Summer N and she's from Vietnam I think she's in Dilat and because the milk that she drinks is Dilat milk um, but yeah she'll just post about her day her school um, living in her apartment, cleaning around her apartment, just like a little bit mundane to most people, I guess. But to me, it's very fascinating and it's very, um, I don't know, it's almost like therapy in a way. It's just very calming to watch, almost like watching the waves at the beach or something like that, you know? It's edited very well as well and shot beautifully. I think it's also because she's a film major and uh, she's just really good at her job. So um, yeah, I really hope her channel blows up as well because it's fantastic and I love watching content from people who are in Vietnam or from Vietnam because um, uh, I don't know because I'm Vietnamese and I, it just makes me feel like I, I know them a little bit better. Actually on that subject I was watching this guy Max McFerrin at the beginning of the pandemic his channel just blew up because he's so like sincere and so sweet and he moved to Vietnam um, I think he's from Arkansas or I want to say Arkansas um, but he yeah moved to Vietnam for a while and then just started trying all these cuisines like different food and everything and I love that I love seeing people who are very curious about other people's culture I started watching Peter Centinella's channel um, and he was going around different neighborhoods in New York and different uh, communities like the Hasidic Jewish community he went to go see the Amish community in South Florida I believe um, yeah it's just really interesting watching his perspective on different cultures. I've been watching a lot of Sarah Gray. She has a vlog channel, or she does a lot of vlogs currently, and those are my favorite to watch. So I've been watching a lot of her vlogs, as well as Madeline's uh, New York vlogs. She moved to New York for a month, um, at the beginning of the month, and uh, she's been documenting every day. So I've been watching those every day. And she said 
t earlier today that she's like feeling like every vlog is the same and getting kind of boring but that's not the case to the outside world maddie if you're watching this i hope you know that it's not the case to the outside world because everyone's lives are so different so what she's doing in new york is so fascinating to me even if it's just small things like doing the laundry and stuff like that i just want to see how people do it there or um how people take transportation and like all of that you know it's just so interesting to me okay in terms of tangible favorites um well i just bought this camera that i'm shooting from right now it's the canon g7x mark iii so i've had the mark or the original one and the mark ii and my major problem with it is the auto focusing like you could hear the lens popping back and forth i think it's less so with this camera so I'm really excited about it. So I've always been a fan of PF Candle Co. I remember when they used to be called Pumphrey because um, I think the owner's last name is Pumphrey. Yeah, I just thought it was like such a cute brand and I remember when they first came out they were just at craft uh, fairs and all of that and I remember um, the first time, I think the first time I ever purchased a candle from uh, PF Candle Co. is through Anomi, like Chelsea, Chelsea Wears. And um, yeah, I purchased a candle from them fell in love with it and just fell in love with the brand and the packaging and everything. They just came out with new hand and body washes and the one that is my favorite, I mean they have like their classic scents and like the newer scents as well, but my favorite is the Swell one. I love the smell of it, it's so bright and kind of reminds me of the beach, a little bit salty. Yeah, so I've actually been keeping this in my bathroom. My bathroom is really small so I'll keep it on the counter of my sink and then also um, use it in the shower too, so I can reach it from the shower. Um, and the pump is great too. And I love that it's just a sticker on top of this bottle so that when you run out, you can just peel the sticker off and refill it with whatever soap that you want so you can reuse the bottle. I know like brands like Aesop for instance, like people buy their stuff just because they want the, the cute bottle, right? But when you, once you remove the label after you're using the product, their bottle is just a plastic bottle. Um, so if you want that Aesop aesthetic, you would just get like an amber bottle, right? And they gave me a code as well too, so I'll leave all the information. Um, also, I just found out about this brand called Vacation, and um, I love their branding. It's like very 80s, the packaging's adorable. I got it in the mail, so it came with like an invoice and like a bunch of other things that are just so cute. Um, anyway, they make sunscreen and um, like vacation, leisure vacation products, and I started using this. This is called the Chardonnay oil. It's a sunscreen oil. It smells a little bit powdery. They also have a regular sunscreen that you can use on your body and your face, and that smells like a classic, like, just like the most classic 80s sunscreen that you can ever smell. It smells fantastic. I just love the smell of sunscreen, so they captured that in the bottle, made it perfect, and the formula is great too. Um, they sell it at the store near my house, so once I run out of all my other sunscreens, I'm going to go out and purchase that one. But I'm really excited about this one because I've never used a sunscreen that is an oil before and sometimes I just prefer that um, over a thicker lotion-y product. I've been using this curl leave-in cream in my hair right when I get out of the shower. So right when I get out, actually when I'm in the shower and I'm conditioning my hair, I started just like scrunching the conditioner in my hair and I won't use a comb to like comb it out anymore because I want my hair to be a little bit more wavy and curly. And then I'll spray this all around my hair when I get out and just kind of scrunch it in and let it dry completely. And I love that it leaves my hair soft. Um, it's not crunchy, it's not crispy, and it's actually Curly Girl Method approved because it's um, no sulfates and no like harsh chemicals and all that. It says it's ultra hydrating. It feels like a leave-in conditioner essentially and it really wakes up your curls. Yeah, every time I use this and my boyfriend comes over, he's like, did you cut your hair again? But no, it's just because the weight of it goes back up again and then it starts to sag and then it straightens out a little bit every day and then it goes back up um, after I wash it again. I really like this. If you have curly hair or if you're trying to make your curls really like stand out, then I recommend using that. Um, when it comes to makeup, I've been loving makeup lately. Um, I fell back in love with it and I'm just really excited about it. So I've been using this lipstick. It's the one that I have on my lips right now. Um, this is from Giorgio Armani. It's a moisturizing lipstick. It's called the Lip Power and it's the color 504. And instead of using it straight from the bullet, like swiping it like this, I kind of just blot it on. And I love that it's moisturizing. Um, 
yeah, it's just a, such a beautiful package. Definitely worth the hype. I know a lot of people have been talking about it, but it's definitely worth the hype in terms of lipsticks. I get so excited about Kosas. It's one of my favorite brands and anytime they come out with a new product, I'm like, ooh, you know, like super excited to try everything out. And I actually went through and um, pulled out all my Kosas products. And I think I'm gonna do a full face of Kosas products um, pretty soon. So um, yeah, this month I'm really into their bronzer. This is the medium bronzer. Um, it's got a little bit of like a pink undertone to it or like a reddish undertone So I'll apply it on my cheeks and if I really concentrate it then it'll look more like blush on me So I love that and I also like using it as an eyeshadow too But for eyeshadow recently, I've been using this from Glossier Look how cute. So this is the color or the trio in teak. Yeah, and it's refillable, which I don't quite understand. I think you just snap this out. Yeah, I just think this is so beautiful and I love that the mirror is so big too, so you can really see yourself. Um, but yeah, when I was younger, I used to use this Naked palette. I think it's the original Naked palette and within that palette, there was a color called Smog and that color of Smog looked like this. As soon as I saw that color, I'm like, oh my God, it reminds me of Smog. I think this is such a beautiful combination and it's not overwhelming. It's not like 12 shades of color, it's just, Three, and they're all three colors that I would actually use. This is kind of a strange thing to talk about, but earlier this year, Maddie got me a huge thing of hot sauce from Del Taco because I love their medium sauce, or no, their mild sauce. Um, but she got me a, a ton of packages from that because I just love their hot sauce. I like eating it with my breakfast, it's everywhere, right? Um, but then she recently gave me this one. It's um, like truffle hot sauce. It's hotter sauce from truffle or truff. And I've seen this at Whole Foods, at Erwan, at like a bunch of different um, grocery stores, but I never bought this one. I actually bought a knockoff version of it from Trader Joe's, which was delicious, and I used that up. Um, but yeah, ever since she got me this, I've been using it instead of using the Del Taco sauces. And oh man, it just tastes so good. And the truffle aspect of it isn't overwhelming, so I love that. I just think it tastes so good. I mean, my mouth is watering just talking about it, but yeah. I feel like it adds um, a little bit of brightness and spice to everything. Well, obviously spice, but everything you make just tastes better. When I went to New York, I brought this one trench coat with me and I love it because, so this is it right here. It's from London Fog and it's just a classic French coat or French coat, trench coat. And um, it's got a really nice collar and I love how thick it is, but also the inside is lined and you can unzip it and then it's just like a normal um, lightweight trench coat, right? Um, anyway, so I brought this with me to New York. I wore it around everywhere and it was almost like my security blanket. And I got stopped so many times and like a bunch of people asked me where I got it. It's from London Fog, but I got it at a thrift store in Palm Springs um, a couple years ago and it was during the summer, so it didn't make any sense, right? Um, it was during the summer and um, it was only $6 at a thrift store called Revivals in Palm Springs. In terms of shoes, I'm wearing these. They're from Loeffler Lof Randall, I believe. They're just high boots. They go right up to, or not quite up to the knee, but just like past the shin, essentially. Um, I really like these because I've been looking for boots for quite some time and I love that the bottom is kind of modest so even if you wore pants with it and it looks like an ankle boot, it just looks very classic. The silhouette is just very unassuming, you know? And the heel height isn't crazy, so it's easy to walk around in. And I love the pebble leather as well. Um, yeah, it's just such a classic boot that I've been looking for quite some time. The last thing I want to talk about is my couch. So I got a Floyd couch, as you can see back here, and also up there too. Um, and it's a sectional, everything kind of clicks together, but I have it separated into two separate sections so that um, I can sit down and eat in one area and then I can watch TV in one area. And yeah, I just love this couch. It's super comfy. I've had friends sleep on it. I've slept on it. Um, it's such a wonderful, comfy couch. I haven't had it for a crazy amount of time, so I'll get back to you guys on my thoughts on it. But yeah, it's so much more comfortable, like, long-term wise than the floor couch that I was in, um, or that I was using. I thought that was the most comfortable couch ever, but then when you sit on a floor couch for too long, I guess it just kind of 
fucks with your posture, you know? So I really like this couch and I think it's super comfy and stylish and neutral as well. Yeah. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any suggestions or comments or anything, please leave a message and um, I'll see you in the next one.